Oh, what's up, y'all? Good morning. It's not even good morning. Good afternoon. What's the face again? It's your boy, Pastor Jim, and I'm here back with another freaking video, man. If you guys haven't seen by the thumbnail or the title, today I'm going to be going to this food event called Foodie Land. It's in, well, it's not, I'm just going to say it's not in Dallas, but it came to Dallas this weekend, and we chose to come on a worst day possible because it's pouring down rain, right? and I still want to give, like, cute and, you know, all this other stuff, but... I don't know. I feel like my outfit, it looks okay, but I don't know. Um, so they're currently outside, ready to go. I just need to twist my hair, but I know it's like very chaotic and I want to do my intro right now, but if you guys like the chaoticness, make sure you guys subscribe, give me, you know, just make sure you guys subscribe to be a part of the Two-Faced Gang, the Two-Faced family, and yeah. You're gonna really love it here. You're gonna love me. You're gonna love my community. So, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe. And I'm about to go. Yeah, I was editing the video and I got carried away. I really did got carried away with the time. So, I'm about to go. I'm about to see you guys. The time right now is currently 2.17. This is the outfit of the day. It's just like something real basic. So, yeah, y'all. So, that's the outfit of the day. I'm going to tell my granny that I'm going. And, yeah. The place, you like, get the thing. You All right, y'all. So, we're here. We're at the train station. It was chaotic getting here, but... We here, we finna go to Foodie Land. Y'all wanna say hey? <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> hey! Yeah, this is my, oh, my birthday twin, Raina. This is her friend, Caitlin. Katie. Oh, Katie. It's okay. Wait, so is it Caitlin? It's Katie. It's oh. Katie. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Katie. Okay, because she, I don't know, there's too many K's around here. But yeah, we're on our way to Foodie Land. Oh, I'm so excited and I'm hungry. <laughs> Y'all, so we're here at Foodie Land and it's freaking raining cats and dogs. Like. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so we got bamboozled. <laughs> they said that it was supposed to be the food place inside. But ain't no food in here. All the food is literally outside, and this is the most. Bro, we literally got to stand outside in the rain and just eat. Just to eat. Just to eat. But this ain't okay. It's fine. I don't need nothing in here for real. I, I don't even think I'm gonna record. Like, I literally came here to get footage, but it's fucking raining. Uh, this is my sign to get a GoPro. <laughs> this is the sign to get a GoPro, because the GoPro could have withstand the rain. Wow. But it is what it is. Hey, Chad, so we're gonna be recording off the phone today because it's raining hectically. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, the only way we can eat is if we want to get wet. Whoa. <laughs> Y'all, so the first place that we're at, we're gonna get some juicy and food food. What that shit look like? Bro, this bike look at me. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Chicken tacos. <laughs> Let's eat. Let's eat. Ah. 
No wonder why he was looking at me like that. <laughs> okay, let's do your rating on the first round. Uh, oh, of all the food or like? Yeah, you can do individual. Okay. Chicken taco, fried at 10. I didn't try the beer yet. And that was a six out of 10. Okay. It was cold, so I'm gonna give it a fair rating. It's pretty good. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 12. Area wasn't that good. Give it like four. This one, I don't know. I just wasn't a fan. I'm gonna give it a four. The food in the new season was cold, but it was good. So I gave it like, like I said, seven. I gave it seven as well. The video bombs. I gave the shit like a two. I'm sorry, that video really wasn't that good. And then this sauce. Sorry I couldn't vlog with my camera, but it is what it is, it's raining. 
but we wet as fuck. <laughs> we wet as fuck. Y'all, so the train is on its way. The only thing that I'm sad about this experience, I haven't found no man. <laughs> it was a man there. It was, it, was a, it was a few. But I was too wet for them to look at me. <laughs> <laughs> there's any man come to fair time I'm scouting I got my binoculars ready now I'm doing the fair time that's one couple though like I know regular people go too single people but I know it's just man we can couple me but if you don't have friends Okay, hopefully that's your son, because I think they catfished me, but overall it's so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> that's so much. Mm -hmm. That's so you. Because that's my movie. <laughs> That's so cute, honey. Oh my gosh. So glad. <laughs> so, when I'm here, we need to go to your house and just be. <laughs> Round two for shame. Is that what you want to do? <laughs> Y'all are the worst. <laughs> now that I'm like, yeah, I'm a little too interested in my <laughs> shoe <shoemaker> choices. <laughs> Open that one? No. It just came like that? Yeah, she beat them boxes up. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, you're taking the picture! <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, y'all, so we got the picture. Is this also a blind box? Mm -hmm. It's actually piglet. Yeah. No, it's a blind box. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's been having, so I don't know. Maybe she might get peanut. I'm peanut. <laughs> oh. Ew. 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 Oh, oh, I thought oh. it was going to be a blind box. They're so cute. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> that is from me. Oh, that's cute. I want to see it. <laughs> Wait, what is that? I can't. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It looks like a van bag. Somebody scratch my back. I'm dying. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> love it. Right there, right there, right there. Is this a Salida shirt? Yes. <laughs> no, that's where I'll be. I was like, come in. You're cute. To add to my collection. What's this? Oh, yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I remember. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. cute. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. It's a great thing. There's so many things. Oh my god. How cute. Oh, I didn't see those so magic at our messes up. That is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Don't cry. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> this is not about not gonna cry. What is this? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I love 
ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I know what this is from. But you're like, what? Oh my gosh. Oh, they're little, like, uh, his albums. Oh, oh my God, I have to get sprayed. Oh my God, I'm going to cry. And I'm getting cutting. Oh my gosh. Are you coming? Oh my God, you got me down, girl. Oh my gosh. Then the last thing that I got you was that the big roll thing. I was wondering what this was. <laughs> I was like, what the egg? That's not a funny thing. <laughs> you know, what the egg? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Today is a good day. Aww. Yeah, we're hanging in your room. I want to put it here, but I Fingers crossed and good morning, good morning, good morning. Hola, buena. I mean, buena dia. But today is going to be the day that's going to be my last day around the train. Because your boy going to get a car. Your boy's going to get a car. going to get a car in my own name. So yeah, it's going to be a long process because... <sighs> no insurance. Your boy's going to be 21. So it's just a lot of stuff. But today's going to be my last day riding the bus and the train. So yeah, I'm so excited. Like, so excited. It's not even funny. Today is a very exciting, ecstatic, thrilling day for me. Today, I'm going to buy me a car. Today, I'm going to go buy me a car. Hopefully, it's my dream car. If not, it's still going to be a good, reliable. Give me the point A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. You know? So, I'm just so very excited and excited. If you guys don't know, I did recently traded in my Toyota Yaris, which was silver, to get a um, 2021 uh, Chevrolet Malibu. Yeah, so some, some stuff had happened. Stuff had happened, and so I don't have that car. I haven't had that car for almost like nine, 10 months now. So today, it's just been a lot of crying, praying, a lot of keeping my faith, a lot of working, tremendous hours just to get me this car. So today is the day Hopefully, I'm able to get, to get me my car. So, at first, I wanted a Honda Civic. Oh my gosh, I was wanting a Honda Civic Sports, Honda Civic this, Honda Civic that. But then I started looking at the Honda Accords, and I started like, hmm, maybe I want a Honda Accord. So, we're just going to see what the dealership have, to me, have for me today, because I know they have a lot of stuff. I'm not going to an actual Honda dealership. I'm going to... Um, a Mazda dealership. I know y'all probably thinking like, oh, why are you not going to a Honda dealership? It's just because the cars that I actually want is literally at the Mazda dealership. You know, that make, if that makes sense. So, I'm currently finna get dressed. It's currently 1028. My cousin, she's gonna be along with me for the ride and to help me, you know, get the best deals, the best offers, and this and that for my new car. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like I can start living again. I can start going to the gym. I can start going grocery shopping. Like it's a lot of stuff that you do not do once you don't have a car because you always gotta, hey, are you free? Hello, can you pick me up today? Hello, can you do this? Or we're out the train for damn near two hours just to get to one destination. So yeah, so today today's that stops. It is kind of like a little rainy day today, but hopefully I don't stop nothing because last time when I got my car, it was rainy and everything was good. We was good. We was good. <laughs> so, I'm very, very excited. I'm ecstatic. My stomach hurts. And it's just a good hurt. Like, my stomach hurts in a good way. So, if... Yeah, y'all just gonna see the whole little process of me getting a new car. Hopefully, I'll record if I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna try to record. Because, like, this is exciting. This is gonna be my first car in my own name. You know? So... <sighs> I'm so excited. Well, technically, my first car was in my own name. Actually, we're not going to talk about that. But I'm just so excited, y'all, that I'm fitting in me a new car. Oh, now that I got here, I got nervous. 
<laughs> I said, this nice, and they got red seats. Uh -huh. That's why I say it's a newer model than mine because it got the lights. Oh. That's a 22, mine's a 21. Yours still nice too. Alright, y'all, so this is the color. So y'all, so my battery is actually gonna die. So let me change that right quick. Hold on. My hair looks so good. Like I snapped, even though it took three hours, I snapped on it. But so y'all, so this is the day after me from the dealership or whatever. So let me just give y'all a little rundown and break down what happened. So one, I still don't have a car. <laughs> so yeah. The reason why I went to that car dealership up that way because they was like basically like having like cheap car down payments and cheap payouts and stuff, you know, whatever. Um, so basically they ran my credit about 50 million times. They ran my credit so many times. I don't know why they did, but luckily it didn't like knock it down a lot, but they, they just kept running my credit to see, you know. Whatever, I think it's my pizza that's coming. <laughs> I always pizza, y'all. Um, so yeah, that had happened. I was, I, I'm not gonna say I was sad because I was really like not that excited. Like I was excited because I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't had a car in like nine or ten months. Da da da. But I don't know. It it kind of did hurt my feelings just a little bit because like this whole month, like stuff been going on. My best friend's graduation, it's my bestie's baby birthday, my birthday, like just stuff that I had planned out for this month and I thought yesterday, you know, I got a, was going to give me a car and like, you know, I was going to be able to do what I need to do for the month of May. <laughs> Apparently not. So basically we went there. I have to have a co-signer because my credit is like, mm, I'm not ashamed of my credit. My credit is like, uh. What is it? It's six. It's like six thirty-seven, six forty-ish, around that line. Like I'm like currently rebuilding my credit because at first my credit was seven hundred. Stuff had happened, so my credit started like going low, and I'm like trying to rebuild my credit with literally zero to none knowledge. So yeah, but my credit is currently building back up because at first I'm I'm going to admit I'm, I went from seven hundred. It's so like 492. Didn't even know you can even go that low. But I went from 492, went to 500, then I went to 637. So, as you can say, give myself a pat on the back for rebuilding my credit in like seven months. So, I don't even know what to do. So, don't ask me how I did it. I really don't know. I guess just paying off my debt really did it for me or whatever. Um, so we went there basically saying I needed a co-signer or whatever to have a car because the income was there the credit wasn't because I guess they still considered my 637 640 credit score low or whatever so but it is what it is um, at first I told them I had four thousand dollars for my down payment they went back because I guess the bank was like mm, no, we need almost seven thousand dollars for a down payment. Mind you, the car that I went to go look for, it was a 2021 Honda Accord. That Honda Accord look, it would look beats up. Like it looked like they like got into a wreck and they like found somebody to fix all the stuff and they barely even fixed it. So we had looked at the 2021 Honda Civic Sport hatchback oh my gosh i fell in love with that car like i really really did so that was one of the reasons why i really felt sad because that was like that really was my dream car like literally not even the honda accord because i really wasn't even going for the honda Accord. i was actually going for that honda civic sport like that i've been wanting that car for like forever like since i was like 17 18 so when I couldn't get it, it kind of did hurt my feelings just a little bit because I'm like, dang, like, I'm like, dang. We're just going to see. I did find another 2021 Honda Civic 
sports hatchback and it's in this pretty 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 gray color that I love because the first one was this black one let me see if I got a picture of it was this if it focus sorry y'all it's bright but it was this pretty black car right here it was pretty pretty wait what am I I'm just gonna wrap up this this little portion of this video because yeah I'm just gonna see you guys not next week not next week I mean not this week not this Saturday, but probably next Saturday. It's literally gonna be 10 days for my birthday that I'm looking for a car because I I have to give me a car for, before my 21st birthday. And if not, it's gonna be another year of me being sad on my birthday. <laughs> you don't know. All right, y'all, hey, hey, hey. So I'm finally at home and I just got a little something. I just got like a little event. This is still like a part of like the car vlog, but we're just talking about a car. I don't know if I already talked about this. If I did, it's getting cut out. But people keep asking me, oh, Patrick, why you just don't get a cash car? Patrick, why you just don't get a cash car? Get a cash car, get a cash car, or get a low pay car, whatever. Get like a $10,000 car, pay it off, and you know. But if, mind you, if I get that $10,000 car, pay it off, you know, do my yearly payment. Mind you, I'm finna turn 21. Like, I'm not saying like, Oh, at 21, you gotta have your life together. It really don't matter what age you are. It's just social media. That'd be the problem. That'd be the issue. Um, my hair really look good. Like, I look good. My hair look good. Like, everything is good. <laughs> but, I don't know. I just... I'm tired. <laughs> like... Not to like, not to be on on depressing stuff, but not to be on on sad stuff. But I don't think I can do this for so much longer, you know. Like I just feel like, you know how people be like, oh yeah, I know I'm gonna live long. I know I'm gonna get old. Da -da 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 -da. It's just like me. I don't, I don't feel that. I don't feel that same way. And I'm like, you know, Lord forbid, because today, I mean, tomorrow's not promised. Always live in the moment today. You know, take it day by day. But it just be feeling like sometimes, like I'm not gonna make it to like, you know them years when i do you know share my testimony whatever but i don't know where i was going with that but with the whole car situation it's just like if i get me this little bs car right now to take me to point a to point b it's like cool but it's like i want to go to point a b c d e f g h i j k l m n r p like you know i like i want to do stuff like i want to start doing like road trip videos i want to start doing like like just stuff like that like I, I had a vision in my head like I'm getting this like not brand new but it's like I'm getting a newer car I'm gonna put these miles on it I don't want nothing that already have miles like hella miles on it because the majority of these cars only have like 80k to 100k miles on it and I don't know how I feel about that if I'm gonna be adding on extra miles because I'm literally like coming up with lists I'm coming up with YouTube video ideas of you know come on city say what I want to do like I want to like do road trips like I want to go from here four hours away here six hours away like I want to do that I want to like see the world like you know so that's why I'm like I'm getting a new car for a reason and I just feel like <sighs> just another reason why I just hate that lady like I don't know like I wish I would never trade it in my first beep beep to get that other car because if I would never get that car she would never have the car that I have now and I'm just like I'm just really irritated because like if all this, like, all this wouldn't be happening if I literally had my car. If sh she would have waited till I got paid to finally pay the first payment. But she took the car before I can pay my first payment. And it's just, like, it just it just irritates my soul. Because I'm in here, like, just a lot of bad stuff that she's been doing to the car. And who she's been letting have the car. It's just too much. Like, at the end of the day, yes, it is in her name. But it wasn't for her. It was for me because I traded in my old car to get this new one. You get it? It wasn't for her. It was for me. So it's just like, it's, I don't know. You just, you know, you live and you learn. And I just should have known, like, me and her never had a really good relationship. So I don't know why I just thought that, oh, like, clearly she didn't fuck with me by having a new apartment. So you think she was going to, you know, mess with me? by having a new car no it made her despise me even more probably even hate me even more i don't really know i really don't know but now you know she's stuck with the consequences of having this car you know it's still up under my name as well as a co-signer so if like if something happens to the car either 
wreck, anything happened to that car, like whatever, it's it can fall back on me. And mind you, I haven't had that car in damn near a year. It's been a, almost a whole last year come next month, really July. But anyways, but what I was trying to just rant about, it's like my birthday is coming up, like my twenty my twenty first birthday is coming up, and it's like I'm not excited. Like last year, I literally was gonna kill myself because of all the stuff that I was going through. And it's like, you know, it's like, it's like why every time this season come around, like I'm thinking I'm doing better, but I feel like I'm getting like pulled back down. You know, I just feel like around this season, like just last year, I was literally finna kill myself, had the police come to my house because friends, my friends had the police come pull up to my house, do a mental check and just all this other stuff because I didn't want to be here. Now I'm finna be 21 and then like the, not the same depressed boat you can say but um like I'm just sad because it's just like a lot of stuff that I wanted to do for my 21st birthday I wanted to go to a different city like I was still gonna be in the same state I was still gonna be in Texas but I just wanted to be in a different city it's like I can just feel the depression trying to like creep his way back into my life and I'm really not trying to let it I'm really not trying to stress about me not having a car me not having clothes me not having no shoes me not even having an Airbnb even paid for it's just a lot because like I feel like if I would have had this car or if I already had a car none of the stuff that I'm stressing about would happen I would have been paid for the Airbnb been paid for my Megan Thee Stallion ticket like it's just a lot of stuff that I would have had paid for if I already had a car so it's just it's just been too much and i'm just been like really not trying to think about it just really trying to give it to god like clearly it was a reason why i didn't get the car may 5th it's just the 7th my birthday is literally in 21 days so it's just i don't know it's just like this birthday seems like it's just gonna be like a regular birthday and I know my best friend she telling me whatever like even if I wait I don't go to where I want to go we're still gonna have fun but it's like you have to like my understanding is that like one we literally have to uber everywhere who has money to have fun and uber everywhere mind you I don't even have an itinerary for if even if I do something in Dallas like I have an itinerary for what I want to do out there where I want to go but it's just like in Dallas I don't have no itinerary like I don't know what to do like Dallas not just like a oh da 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 like come here and just like hey let's party let's do this do that first of all I'm not even a club person so I'm not can't even go to can't even go to the club and have fun because I'm not even a club person like I don't like going clubs I don't like doing kickbacks I don't like doing parties like I'm like a real small chill type of person I don't like too many people around me yes, I don't want to be like, I don't want to be like the people, like, I don't know if it's just me, but I don't know if it's just me where, like, you know when you, why is the glove right here? You know when you're thinking about stuff and you just think about it, think about it, and it makes you sad, but also me talking about it, me listening to what I'm thinking makes me even sadder, you know? Like, you know, people are like, oh, just talking about it, it makes you feel better, get it out, don't just keep it in, keeping it in. Or letting out be making me feel even sadder. Like, I don't know. Like, me talking about the whole car situation did, like, just put me in, like, a little, just a little mood. And I'm like, dang, like, now I want a big ass burger with some fries and a large Sprite. Because <laughs> it's how I cope. And that's why I'm big now. Yeah, but like, oh, like, you know, I always, like, you know, food is my best friend. Look at my body. Look at it. Like, that's, that's the outcome of food being my best friend or me binge eating. Like, you know, that's the outcome that I'm in now. Like, mind you, I grew up skinny until a certain point. Metabolism changed. Something traumatic happened to me. So it's just like, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Ooh, why did I just stick my tongue out like that? I don't know, y'all. But it just made me a tuna sandwich and take that ass to bed. Now I see why I'm just sad. I'm just finna go to sleep. Like, I'm just finna go to sleep. I'm just finna go to sleep because if I just think about it some more, 
I'm gonna start crying, <laughs> you know? So I've been saving up majority of my money. Like I don't even go grocery shopping no more. I would eat with what my coworkers would bring at work or if I did have some extra money that I can pull out, then I would eat at work. Majority of the time I'm always eating at work because that's where I'm at. Then it's like when I come home, it's like, you see, the, if, you didn't go, if you didn't go grocery shopping, you're not gonna eat, you're not. So now I'm just thinking like, there's no eggs. So I can't even eat no tuna. With no eggs. I, I understand. I can. I understand. I can just make the tuna with just the 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 tuna thing and mayo. But it's just like the eggs are different. So I'm just not gonna say I'm just gonna starve tonight. But it's just like it's just annoying sometimes. Like. I got pimples where my beauty marks should be I got giant skin on my elbows and knees I never liked her, wanted to be like her Hate how you look at her, cause you never saw me Like I was an art piece, like I was an ordinary girl I wish I was special, I give all my special Eventful night. So I got my nails done. Y'all can see them. So I got my nails done. I'm tired and I'm ready to go to sleep. But had a good time last night. Oh my gosh. Like I, me and my two friends that I hung out with, we was laughing so hard. Like back was getting abs, losing breath, finna throw up because we're laughing so hard. Like oh my gosh, I haven't had a laugh like that in a minute. And I needed that. Y'all know the, little, the week that I was having? But I mean, I have no car. I don't know if y'all saw that or not. But it was really getting me down. And that right there, like, that right there just, like, really just put the put the icing on the cake. 
icing on the spot. Da 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 da. My best friend from the comment, my phone at 3%. Fuck. Don't be mad at me. But my phone is at 3%. Oh, those are cute. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at mine. <laughs> Don't be mad at me. Yeah, my phone on three percent, and I still ain't washed my ass yet. My phone is on one, so I caught you off my ass. <laughs> <laughs>